Happy birthday, Hanako. Happy birthday. <laughs> I would come up behind her and <laughs> join the hug. <laughs> Just awkwardly. This will make Hanako feel at ease. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. To Bookend Gaming. To the fastest moving girl in the East. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eric. Travis. And understanding, empathy, huh, searching for words to adequately describe it is difficult, nonetheless. Would you like to do this again sometime, Lily, without the shopping for presents part? Yeah, I don't want to have to spend money. The tentative question is met with the same look from Lily as before. Her pale skin makes the rosy tint of her cheeks just slightly more noticeable, and her face, though, still pointed to the street ahead of her, lowers just... A little. No. Okay. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> There's a Yay! truck coming. Yeah, all right. Adorable. So we kind of have a girlfriend. Yeah, I'm starting to see why people like this route so much. Yeah, because it's normal and good. Yeah. So, I mean, so far. I mean, something bad's going to happen, obviously. But Yeah. A walk down the hall of the girls' dormitories, my school bag, in hand. A doll lies inside because I'm a creep. <laughs> <laughs> Carefully placed on top of a small box. I've been carrying the box in there for a while now. Still not sure of what to do with it. I broke it. This whole situation, come to think of it, is bizarre. While I've known of Hanako's upcoming birthday party for a while now, I had no idea of exactly what the celebrations would be until I found a single note left in the abandoned tea room earlier today. Come to my room. <laughs> I know what you did last summer. I hold it up and read it again, double-checking the instructions. The plain black handwriting's fairly legible, despite Lily's blindness. Clearly thanks to considerable effort and care. Slumber party, er, uh, pajama party in my room. <laughs> Clothes <laughs> optional. Hassau, we'll be holding a party at my place. Please come at 6 o'clock to room 225 whoop, whoop. in the girls' dormitory. Sorry for <laughs> notifying you this way, but I have class representative duties. Lily, by the way. Obviously. <laughs> this is your grandma, by the way. <laughs> Not reassured, I continue walking down the hallway until I reach Lily's dormitory room. I hesitate for a second, but eventually give three sharp taps on the door. No. It's a do 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 Ding, ding. A brief and muffled exchange of words can be heard from the other side. Listening closer, I can just pick out Hanako and Lily's voices. <laughs> He's here. He's <laughs> here. <laughs> As they finish, Lily calls out. Might that be Hassau? Yep. I got the note you left for me. Luckily, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> she opens the door, you're just naked. <laughs> you can come in, the door's unlocked. Oh, right. I am currently naked. Glad that I managed to get the right room. I pressed down on the handle and let myself in. Well, I she mean, broke down the room number. Said the number. <laughs> yeah, you're not blind. As the door swings open, my greeting to them is stolen from my mouth. Yay! Yay, pajama oh, party! Those legs. Man, she's hot. I like hot. it. Her <laughs> arms seem way too long in that drawing. Lily sits at a low table <laughs> in the center of the room in her pajamas, while on the other side sits Hanako in a nightgown. Being dressed in only my normal school clothes, I feel quite out of place. Don't worry, we have pajamas for you too. <laughs> I steal a quick glance at the lovely sight of the two. My ear, my eyes tearing themselves from Lily's long, thin, and pale legs, only with a measure of reluctance. How is his, his, uh, Hanako okay with this? Like, you're know. not that close with her. Like, you think she'd really be okay with you? No, she'd be really weird. I mean, maybe they... Maybe she will be really weird. Hang or, out normally. Yeah, I guess it's been, a, like, a week or so. I don't think they were... They didn't really mention that in this one, though. But, like, when we were with Hanako... Like, we're playing tea, or we're playing chess and drinking tea every day. Yeah. So maybe that's how also happening here. Yeah, you've been going to lunch with them and dating Lily, so. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I brought everything that was needed, and maybe condoms. It's hard to think. All the blood's left my brain. <laughs> she smiles and nods. I wonder if she's even aware of the pleasant sight she makes. <gasps> the th <laughs> thin, dark blue silk of her pajamas really suits her. Accentuating both her eyes <gasps> and her curves. The look <gasps> <laughs> of her last night. It's a lot of them. <laughs> that tentative and almost shy demeanor seems all but replaced by her coy nature. It's nice to see her confidence <gasps> return, <laughs> though I can't help casting my mind back to how she looked. <gasps> back then. <laughs> 
This is a really weird close up. Like she, yeah, her arms. Oh, like she I love like a, elbows. <laughs> she's like a spider creature yeah. or something. Creepy. That's like the grudge thing coming down the yeah. stairs backwards. I look to Hanukkah, who nervously sits opposite her in her gown. It isn't a surprise that she'd wear something so conservative, though it definitely looks cute. I do her too. She's adorbs. <laughs> Hi, Hanukkah. Happy birthday. Uh, thank you. She's unusually skittish, despite the fact that she's warmed up to me considerably over the weeks we've there come to know each other. This is a pretty unusual situation, I guess. Hey, look at that. It covered it for us. Thanks, what? writer. <laughs> Feel free to take a seat, Hissel. I'll just pour you two some tea. How? There's only one cup! <laughs> There's still only one cup! <laughs> You're gonna share it. Sure thing. Two girls, one cup? <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Lily takes... I want to be blind now. A steaming red teapot from the side of the table and gently pours its contents into our teacups as I take a seat beside them. Setting my bag against the nearby wall. With my senses returned and hormones somewhat calmer, I realize that this is the first time I've ever been in Lily rooms. R- Lily's room. What Plus my erection is under the table. So yeah, you're all. all good now. <laughs> the edge of the table's like up. <laughs> like, are these legs uneven? <laughs> no, don't feel around under there. Yeah. The first thing I notice is the ambient smell, just slightly different from that in mine. Probably faint perfume or soap. (laughs) (laughs) Nail polish. It could be anything of a girl's, really. Another is the plain nature of the room. Visually, beige walls, a smart yet unadorned cabinet, the lack of posters or wall hangings, it's distinctly utilitarian. utilitarian. Yeah. Something I should have anticipated, giving her blindness. The only thing that really seems out of the ordinary is several piles of books sitting on the floor, each reaching from roughly knee height to waist height. Some of them have printed titles, others are entirely blank except for dots of braille. The fact that the ones with printed titles are uniformly in English is interesting, though not completely unexpected. She did mention her parents impressing the language upon her and Akira after all. Your room looks Ah, (gasps) nice, (laughs) Lily. I hear a call of thanks from beside my shoulder, looking <gasps> back to Hanukkah. Thanks for pausing. <laughs> her gaze <gasps> is fixed upon her lap, and her hands are nervously clutching her gown. It's now that I notice why. With those clothes on, the extent of her scarring is far more visible. Jesus, I never noticed how many times you talk about see- sight, the anything to do with sight. Right. <laughs> Reaching down her neck and out to cover her right shoulder. Considering this is a party for her, she doesn't really look like she's enjoying the experience now that I'm here. I'm giving up. I'm going to give myself the hiccups doing yeah. that. <gasps> so how old are you? 18? <laughs> Please. Hopefully. <laughs> her look of surprise, not at all helped by the, her total lack of skill at hiding her feelings, shows that she was trying to mentally tune me out. This is really quite awkward. Y- yes. Score. On the plus side, there's only two more years till you can drink. (laughs) So who's older, you or Lily? Gotta figure out how old Lily is. Lily, she had her birthday in February. What about yours? Earlier this year, so it's already passed. We're all legal, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Don't you worry about that. Unstated is that it passed while I was stuck in the hospital. That was our particularly low point of the experience. Been there conversation with her dries up as quickly as expected. It isn't long before Lily's finished preparing our drinks, setting down the three teacups in front of us. Oh good, there's more teacups. <laughs> I pick mine up, immediately noticing a much stronger aroma and taste than the tea we've been having. She it's spiked I- it. Yeah, it's Irish tea. <laughs> huh. It tastes different than the tea we have in school. It's a different variety, rather than the kind we've been having there. You've never tasted orange jaipa before. Never heard of it. <laughs> Not that I can remember. I usually drink coffee after all, like when we were in town. Remember that a date? date? <laughs> we never had a second one? <laughs> this is nice, though. Stood me up. I got lost. Could do without Hanako being here, though. <laughs> <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> As we settle down and sip, Hanako seems to become more relaxed, or at least a bit less tense about my presence. It, it is li- spiked. Yeah, I was about to say, Lily <laughs> roofied both of you. <laughs> We all finish our cups at about the same time, with Hanako failing rather badly at hiding her anticipation for the cake that's sitting to the side, begging to be eaten. So there's, no, there's no Akira here, so no alcohol, I guess? Oh, that's true. 
Come to think of it, I'm feeling very eager myself. First things first, though. Lily. Yes, now is good. Surprise! <laughs> ah! Each of us <laughs> knowing exactly what the other means, I lean sideways and dig around in my bag for the doll I bought Hanako. Did you not buy... You bought the music box, didn't you? You bought both. Oh. They're both in your bag. Okay. I don't know why he... Like, he was like, why did I buy the music box? I don't know what I'm going to do All with right. it. <laughs> As Lily gets up and retrieves her gift. She turns around and grabs her gift. You turn around. You have a bunch of condoms hanging out of your bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you meant something else. Hiding our gifts in our hands, we present them both on the table at the same time. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You were slow. Hanako silently sits looking at them for seconds on end out of sheer surprise. What a disappointment. My little wooden doll, replete with Victorian-era dress and little hat, lies next to a light brown and fluffy stuffed bear from Lily. She clutches at her gown as she moves to speak, not taking her eyes off the modest presence. Please suck. You didn't You didn't wrap them. <laughs> Th- thank yeah. you, Lily and Hassau. Yeah, who doesn't wrap gifts? Aww. Aww. An, I a like this playthrough. <laughs> Her voice begins to crack as Lily reaches forward, wrapping her in a soft embrace. Let me just get my camera. The sight of Hanako holding Lily so tightly is heartwarming, so much so that I couldn't wipe the smile off my face even if I wanted to. As Lily gently rests her face on Hanako's head, she speaks so quietly and softly that I can barely hear her. Happy birthday, Hanako. What? (laughs) (laughs) Happy birthday. (laughs) I would come up behind her (laughs) and join the hug. (laughs) Just awkwardly. This will make Hanako feel at ease. Yeah. Hanako gives a small nod, holding on to Lily for a time before breaking off and wiping an eye. You just kind of like wedge yourself in between them. (laughs) I guess that for Hanako, simply having someone, anyone, to be there and love her would be special. Oh, well, don't make me feel bad. (laughs) The fact that Lily and I can now share that role for her is something I think I will always be grateful for. We're we're adopting you. That's your surprise. (laughs) Hanako gently takes the doll and teddy bear, holding them both to her chest, except for the bear, which she set on her legs, as she warmly smiles. For a long time, all three of us simply sit in happy silence. The quiet is not broken until Lily's soft voice beckons. Shall we have the cake, then? Yes! Her proposal is met with two looks of unhidden anticipation. No argument from me. Okay. Oh, I was hoping for a little more enthusiasm. <laughs> Phew, that was good. You inhaled the entire cake. <laughs> I, I contentedly sit back, both Lily and Hanako looking just as satisfied with the food as I. It took some effort, but we managed to finish off the cake in one go. That's my nightmare. That's a nightmare to me. Finishing off a cake in one go? No, just Having maybe... two satisfied women in front of you? <laughs> well, that's just a pipe dream. Uh... <laughs> No, like, eating in front of people, it's just the social anxiety in me, but eating in front of people is weird to me. It can be, yeah. And being in high school and eating in front of girls. That's true. You'd be like, oh, am I, like, chewing too loud? It's a pretty, yeah. Maybe I'm just getting my head too much, but that, I would hate that. Right, you like one of them. Yeah, I'd be like, no, I'm not hungry, it's okay. (laughs) Right. But then you're like, oh, am I being rude by not eating? (laughs) I don't think I could fit any more in. I don't know. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard that, <laughs> <laughs> I would have zero nickels. <laughs> I think next time I'll buy a smaller cake. I could almost afford a gumball. <laughs> Hanako and I gave a chuck, give a chuckle, give one, gave one. I don't care, but I can't help but <laughs> notice that come this time next year, we'll have graduated from Yamaku. Th- that fact is somewhat depressing since I finally feel as if my life is starting to get back into some kind of order. Idly looking around Lily's neat and orderly room, her books catch my eye once again. This may be a little impetuous, but my curiosity gets the better of me. Besides, I don't think she'll mind in any case. Don't touch Erotica! (laughs) (laughs) Hey Lily, do you mind if I take a look at one of your books? You've got porn! You're quite (laughs) welcome to, Hassel. That said, if you can overcome two language barriers, I will be quite impressed. Oh, yeah, well, just watch me. Two, Braille, and... Oh, right, English. She gives a nod. I knew you were studying English, but I'm still amazed 
that you're this proficient at it. I had no idea you read Braille. <laughs> One could say that it's a perfect way to avoid people borrowing my collection. <laughs> Aren't you clever? <laughs> she says it in jest, but I am a little disappointed. Fine, I'll put it back. Jeez. Having all these books around me with no way of reading them feels like one big tease. Just gotta touch them. Yeah, the books are the big tease. <laughs> Hanako <laughs> giggles quietly as I reach over the closest pile, plucking the topmost book with only a, curious, a cursory glance. Death on the Nile, in large letters on the cover is the only printed text to be seen. Portrait ah. of Markov. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> no! <laughs> I sit down for a while with the book open on my lap as Lily and Hanako talk. What is this? Try as I might to feel out the dots of Braille printed on each page. They seem to blend into one another and become indistinct. It's almost as if I don't read Braille. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this to be a lot easier than it actually is. Yeah, you're just going to pick it up. Yeah, like, why don't the dots just? Why don't the dots just in the shapes of letters? Yeah. <laughs> with some practice, though, I could see someone with a better sense of touch than mine managing to read at a pretty fast speed. Noticing a silence that had probably begun earlier, I look uh, up from the dotted pages to see uh, Lily smiling as Hanako sips another cup of tea. It really does do it all the time. I like, I've noticed it a bunch. I'm sure it does it all. You know, we're just. <laughs> It's like when one of your friends or someone in your family gets a new car and then all of a sudden everybody's driving that car. Right. because you just weren't <laughs> noticing before. Is something wrong? Quite the opposite. Your curiosity's quite endearing. I am inordinately... <laughs> I can't speak. Leave me alone. Please by the praise. Though I can feel my cheeks heating up a little. Inordinately. Yeah. I can talk. It's just, nah. She's just like patting you on the head. Yay. Good little Hassel. I am curious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> touch me more, please. Mm -hmm. That's a weird thing to end it on. Mm -hmm.